Have you ever wanted to analyze your DNA using the same methods scientists use to study ancient populations? Now you can with Illustrative DNA's Admix Lab, a powerful online tool that gives you access to QPADM, one of the most respected statistical models in population genetics. QPADM is part of the Admix Tools 2 software package developed by the Reich Lab at Harvard. It allows researchers to estimate how much ancestry a person or population has from different sources. While QPADM is most famous for modeling ancient populations, it's also a highly useful tool for understanding modern ancestry especially when you want to go deeper than what commercial DNA tests provide. Thanks to Admix Lab, this tool is now available to anyone with a web browser. No coding is needed and no changes are made to the original scientific software. As a fully Ashkenazi Jew, I used Illustrative DNA's Admix Lab to model my own DNA. I ran dozens of tests using both ancient and modern populations, comparing models to find the most accurate and historically meaningful fit. I focused on models with strong statistical support, high p-values and low standard errors to make sure the results weren't just plausible, but reliable. After refining the results, two models clearly stood out one using ancient Iron Age sources, and another using modern populations. Let's start with the ancient model. This model shows my DNA as a mixture of three ancestral populations that align with what we know about Jewish history. About 54% comes from ancient Israelites using Iron Age samples from the Southern Levant, labeled Israel underscore IA Dot AG. Around 35% comes from Republican era Italians, ancient samples from central Italy just before the rise of the Roman Empire. And roughly 11% comes from Iron Age Scythians in what is now Ukraine, reflecting a steppe related component likely absorbed during later migrations into Eastern Europe. The p-value for this model is 0 0.28, and the standard errors are low across all three sources. That means the proportions are not only meaningful, they're stati statistically stable. For the modern model, I used three present-day groups that mirror these ancient components. Nearly 46% of my DNA matches Samaritans, a modern population living in Israel that has deep ancestral ties to the ancient Israelites. About 36% matches Northern Italians, a population that genetically reflects Roman ancestry better than Central or Southern Italians do. And roughly 18% matches modern Russians, capturing the genetic drift that occurred during centuries of Ashkenazi settlement in Eastern Europe. This model also has a strong p-value of 0 0.38 and low standard errors, making it highly consistent with the ancient one. Together, they tell a, co a, a coherent story, origins in, origins in the Levant, admixture in the Roman world, and minor input from Eastern Europe. All models were run using the standard outgroup panel used in scientific publications, including Mimbuti, Han, Yoruba, Papuan, Keratiana, and others, to help anchor the estimates and reduce statistical noise. If you're Ashkenazi Jewish or from any population with complex history, I highly recommend trying this method. It's a powerful way to explore your ancestry on a deeper level. Go to Illustrative DNA to get started. Just upload your data, choose your sources, and let QPADM do the work. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you try if you tried your own model. 
I'd love to compare notes.